Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my Yes Diary. My name is Tina Yangwa. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Inewi, Anambra State, Nigeria, who loves to create content on food, lifestyle, stories, and vlog. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a, a personal story on arranged marriage and the regret. And yeah guys, today also I'm going to be giving uh, my honest opinion on how I feel about arranged marriage. So you guys should sit back, relax as we begin. And yeah, so guys, um, yeah, this topic is something that's very sensitive and yeah, everybody has their own different opinion on how they see arranged marriage. So you guys should feel free to drop your comment in the comment section on what you feel about this particular topic we're going to be discussing today. So um, according to what I said earlier, arranged marriage, we all know that arranged marriage has its positive and negative impact on people arranged marriage has worked out for a lot of people and it's still working out for people at this century and whereas there are some people when they tell you their own personal experience about arranged marriage you'll not be like no it's never going to be me i'm not going to involve myself in anything called arranged marriage i have a cousin that it worked out for and I have so many friends that it even worked out for but to me i've had a share of that kind of um, arrangement which i never wanted and yeah thank god it didn't even work out for me because that's not the kind of marriage i wanted for myself so and yeah so coming to what i was um, discussing about arranged marriage and there's one thing our parents does that makes me ask some questions when it comes to their children yeah the way the, some parents sees it um they will not be like oh, there's this my friend um they will not be telling the children there's this my friend i want you to marry their son or their daughter maybe because the person and this thing sorry guys this is mostly common with all these people that are very very influential all these influential families they will not tell you i want you to miss this person's daughter i want you to miss this person's son i want you to guys i believe that you guys are good for each other and then sometimes what they think might be best might not be the best for their children and you know sometimes these their children are into another relationship with their different partners and um, but then they will not force them to cut off ties with that person and get married to who they want them to get married to they will uh, make room for arranged marriage and they want them to marry this person's son or this person's daughter so but at times it doesn't work out that way i've seen a scenario when it happened and it never worked out for the girl and um, yeah this is a story i'm going to be sharing with you guys today it's happened to someone that's very close to me which is a young girl of 18 when she finished her secondary school her parents was like no nah, i wanted to get married to her parents like because already the guy's parents has already informed the girl and the girl's parent that they want the son to marry their daughter they are they made room for that arranged marriage but being that the girl was so naive and she was so young the first time into that marriage too early she was just 18 someone that just finished secondary school she didn't even know her rights or left about marriage and you know that sometimes we people we think that marriage is all about giving birth and raising our kids no there are so many things that entails with marriage there are so many things you need to know about marriage before getting into it so this girl she was so naive she didn't really know much about marriage and then when she now got married to the guy hmm, she came to realize that um the guy's mom was so controlling she was the person that dictates what's happening in the marriage she's the as in, everything that happened in that family is the woman so the girl can't even an opinion so this guy she's a he's a mommy's boy so and you know with this kind of marriage you don't have to say anything like you are just there and she has been enduring a lot from the mother-in-law and the rest of it so when this girl reached out to her parents complain about what she is seeing in that marriage and the parents will not tell her that eh, this is how marriage is that marriage is for better for what is for the sickness and the health and the rest of all those things they used to say they tell her you have to endure that marriage is all about patience and yeah there's a limit to what you can endure in marriage because this marriage is a lifetime something because as you mean you have to spend like 90 years with your husband is that what you have to keep on enduring till that 90 years and yeah at times with the kind of challenges the lady is facing into that marriage it leaves room for depression mental disorders and the rest of it and yeah guys so this girl she has been enduring this in her marriage and it didn't really end up well with her because she has been in a lot of mess so guys just let me know what you feel about this arranged marriage whether if you got married to an arranged marriage or maybe how you like how you've been coping into into your marriage like how you've been coping getting married um 
with an arranged marriage so just feel free to drop your comment in the comment section and i'll be glad to respond to each and every one of them so as i was saying earlier this girl she endured this for a very long time and it has not been easy with the girl it has not been easy with the girl she has been complaining to her parents but they weren't doing anything about it so guys um yeah and this is something that has been killing so many marriages today they, because they will tell you uh, you have to endure that person will keep on enduring until the person dies and so to me as i said earlier I'm not a fan of an arranged marriage and yeah because once you get to hook me up with this person say I want you to marry this old person a lot of thoughts will just keep coming to my mind the next thing that will come to my mind is like ah this person I want me to get married to I don't even know this person that much even if someone knows the person but me I don't even know this person is that much a lot of things will start coming to my mind how does this person behave how does this person um what like the character of that person uh, is he a woman beater is he a drug addict a lot of things will start coming up to my mind so to me i don't think to me personally i'm not a fan of arranged marriage but that doesn't mean that if i see someone that is very good or maybe i've get to stay with this person and i know that this person is has a very good character a very good behavior i won't get married to that person yeah it does work out for a lot of people and it's still working out for a lot of people so i wouldn't say it's a bad thing whatever works for you because before you hook up your son or your daughter to anybody because do solid background checks eh do solid background checks you guys know that someone i said do solid background checks because the parents they will present their son or their daughter and eh, maybe in a certain form for you you don't even know the, this person you might know this person's son um for a very long time or maybe you've known this person's son but you do, there are some things you don't even know do solid background checks because especially the guy's family they tend to pretend a lot especially when their son has a very terrible attitude when they have a very terrible character and behavior they tend they tend to hide it until the person marries your daughter forget about what our parents want sometimes because at the end of the day you are the one getting into that marriage and once you are not happening in that marriage that marriage is already scattered so because this is the person you tend to spend the rest of your life with then all those things start unveiling so let's just be aware just do a very solid background share before uh, accepting to allow your daughter to go into an arranged marriage and all there are some things that you need to be talked when before going into an arranged marriage because it's an arranged marriage you people have to keep up with appearance people those people like the couples are behaving in a certain way which they have presented them to be so there are some things that need to be talked because you don't really know this person that much or even if you know this person it's still good to talk about it once is one is finance you need to talk about the finance how you spend money and the rest of it because there are some people that know how to spend money there are some people that know how to spend money so imagine when you get married to someone that doesn't spend that much or maybe that maybe the person there are these people that tries to before they spend they have to calculate very well before they spend so if you marry that kind of person that spends anyhow it tends to be a problem in that marriage it tends to be a very big problem in the marriage so you have to talk about your finances and the rest of it how you spend money how you do everything and you know whether if the person is second one is to know whether if the person is a shopaholic you know there are some people that will, they will keep on shopping and shopping and shopping and shopping and they don't even care totally is um like their faith so they need to talk about it as well um your kids you need to talk about it as well um so and yeah this arranged marriage it worked and it never worked out for so many people so if it works out for you fine so and if it never worked out for you be glad it never did because no don't know what is ahead of you okay, so guys um yeah this is officially the end of this video and if you really enjoy watching this video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and yeah guys don't forget to hit the notification button to get my notification anytime my video goes live see you guys in my next video bye bye